So if we want to find the areas of these non-perfect squares, what we need to be able to do is be able to draw, chop it up into uh, square parts. Okay, so in the middle here, square and right triangle parts. So these diagonal squares, these non-perfect squares are these diagonal squares. We need to generate right angles because we can't calculate area without right angles. And we need to then be able to count up the squares in those in those um, objects. So the way we want to do this is we basically going to start at a vertex and we're going to draw along the grid lines. Okay, we're just going to draw a line along the grid lines down from the vertex across from the ver vertex up and we're not going to go we're all just going to follow these grid lines across to generate these pieces so i want you to notice something about the right triangle that's formed and this was part of the other video was that when we take a look at these right triangles here the angles in here are not 90 degrees Okay, so, but if you notice the, the proportions of this triangle, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you, that's a 5, 5 by 12 triangle here. And notice that this is the same triangle, but now we're going to go in the other direction, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are the same triangles, okay, but they are vertical. The vertical and horizontal parts are switched. So instead of going 5 vertical, now it says 12 vertical. Instead of going 12 horizontal, this triangle is now 5 horizontal. And we can make these 90 degrees angles in here. So this angle in here becomes 90 degrees when we switch those X and Y's and kind of go backwards in one direction. And that's how we're going to make square corners. And that's how we get these squares. Now, we don't, we're not making squares yet, but this, these triangles do help us calculate the areas that we're dealing with. So when I look at the area of this square, okay, I've now broken up into four triangles that are exactly the same in a square in the middle. If you notice the square in the middle, the square in the middle is actually is going to be the difference between one length 12 and the other length 5 because it goes back along there. So it's going to be a 7 by 7 square or 49 squares. These square, these right triangles are going to be a 5 by 12 right triangle. So we do 5 times 12 divided by 2 and we get areas of 30, 30, 30. And 30. So the total area, area of this square works out to be 169 squares. Okay. Now, what we will end up doing is finding out side lengths, and we can go from these squares to side lengths by square root. This one actually happens to be a perfect square because 169 is actually a perfect square. So to do this one here, what we want to do is to make those right triangles on the outside and the square in the middle, we're just going to take a, a point and draw a line vertically straight down along the axes. Okay, so we're not going to draw it at some kind of weird angle or anything like that. Okay, make it like that. We're going to do straight along the grid lines until we hit where the axes, where that next grid line is going to cut from horizontal from the vertex. So then I draw across until I hit this line where this vertex is. And then I'm going to draw that across until I hit the line from that vertex. So there it is. And what we're going to end up seeing is that we're going to generate these right triangles on the outside. And we're going to see this right triangle has dimensions of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 4 by 15. The square in the middle will be the difference. So this is going to be 15. Sorry, it's going to be 4. 15 minus 4. So it's going to be 11 by 11 square. So it's going to be 121 squares in there. These triangles on the outside are all the same. They're 4 by 15 triangles. So 4 times 15 divided by 2. 
each one of these is going to end up being 30 squares in here. Okay, so what we're going to end up with is 30, 30, 30, and 30. So we're going to have 120 plus 121. So we get 241 squares as my area of this square. Okay, this is not a perfect square. So this is my, so the total area is going to be 241 total. 241 squares. Well, it does ask us to find the side length. Okay, so in this case here, if the total area in the first triangle is 169, the side length works out to be the square root of 169, which works out to be exactly 13 squares of area, 13 squares units.